but then you have a number like a number of numbers okay so many numbers in a in a data set okay um then say for example like so you have a 50 then a 33 then a 44 then a 1 then a 5 then a 7 and then it goes on like that right just not in order okay what the median is is like the uh the middle number of all of the numbers so say for instance you have it's most likely not going to be in order when you get it but just to make it simpler, okay? Let's say you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And it's jumbled up, and you eventually, like, you do it, like, so you order them in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, least to greatest, right? Not greatest to least, least to greatest. Then the middle number of all of those, um, the, uh, of all of those numbers would be, th would be 3, right? Yeah, the, the middle number of all of those numbers is uh, the middle number of all of those numbers would be 3 because you have 2 on the left side, 2 on the right side. So it's, you know, 3. 3 is the middle number. But say, for instance, you have an e So that's an odd amount of numbers. Say, for instance, you have an even amount of numbers. There's no middle, right? So, say, for instance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. You have 2 middles, right? You have 3 and 4. Because then there's 2 on the left side, 2 on the right side, right? So, what you would do is first add the two middles together uh so three and four you would add them together okay seven right then this is called this is the mean which i'll explain later it's basically averaging so you would you would take the mean or the average of three and four which is seven so basically what you do is first you add two middles three plus four equals seven then you do seven divided by two because two middles right um you can't have three or four you know that right so the uh two middles and then 7 divided by 2 equals... You don't know? I know, ma'am. Oh, I'm asking you. 3.5. Correct. So then 3.5 would be, you know, the, the middle number. Also, think of it this way. Uh, this is like, sometimes it will take more time, depending, but this is easy, right? What is the middle number? You could do this without averaging it. You would just know, right? What is the middle number of 3 and 4? 3.5, duh. But also... When it comes to complicated numbers, like big ones, it becomes more confusing. That's why I like to take the mean out of them. But if it's a simple ones, I do this. So, yeah, it depends. Okay. So now I will a actually, we were supposed to discuss the mean first, but forget that's fine. Okay. So let's do the mean now. The mean in um, a number of, like in a, in a data set, right, is, so, um, the average of all the numbers. So what you would do is first... Say, for instance, I, once again, I'm going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and they're out of order, right? First, you want to order them from least to greatest. And remember, never, ever, never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever again. Do greatest to least. It becomes more confusing, okay? I mean, you can, but it's more confusing. So, least to greatest. Then, what you would do is, first, add up all the numbers, add them up. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? It doesn't depend, uh, it doesn't matter if it's an odd or even number, okay? Just add them together. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. And then plus 4 equals 10. Plus 5 equals 15. Then what you would do is divide them by the number of numbers there. You get it? So the, you would uh, sum them up equals 15, right? Then how many numbers are there in that data set? 5. So 15 divided by 5 equals 3. The mean is 3. Then the mode, you like it? You like my lessons? Okay, I'll be posting more of these, okay? So then, the, the mode is so easy. It's like super duper easy. Okay, so is the range, but let's go with the mode first. The mode is the um the number in the data set that appears the most times. So now say for instance, we have a one, another one, a two, a three, another three, and another three, a four, and a five, and a five. I know it's complicated, you have to write it down and remember everything, but you would know that three, there's three of the threes, right? There's two of the ones and there's two of the fives, and then two and four is only one, so there's three threes, right? That's the mode, because that number appears the most. Get it? And then, let's say, yeah, range, range is the next one, yes. Box and whisker plots depend all on this, every single thing. I think the thing it 
it depends least on is the mode because the mode doesn't really matter in a box and whisker plot but it's always best to know it right okay let's do the range now the range is like the ma the highest uh, value number on your data set not like the one if it's out of order and if on the most right that's not the number once you order it from least to greatest not greatest to least least to greatest the greatest number minus the least you know lowest number once you get that what that equals that's the range so say for instance it goes on to five to six right so let's just say one to six right i would do because six is the greatest number one is the lowest or the least six minus one equals five five is the range you can also tell because it goes on for five numbers right that's its range so that's all for today's lesson and i will be seeing you on lesson two season on episode two season one of uh math with the hen and yes this will be posted on my youtube channel and bye i am still working on you know um gaming on my youtube channel so also please subscribe and like my videos please and uh there's one rule you need to know feel free to ask me any questions and who knows maybe season five will be teaching you calculus if i get to refresh on first I'm just, you know, learning all the stuff. I don't mean to brag. Okay, whatever. So I need to see you guys. Like, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Because I need to go. So, bye. Bye-bye for...